Hugo Makeup Lovers, um, just another quick one for you tonight. Um, I know it's a little bit late, I know it's the 2nd of December, time's just gone I'm afraid. Now I received a glossy box this week, okay? Now I used to have them quite regularly and then I cancelled them because I wasn't that impressed with what I was receiving in them, namely various moisturizers serums and dry shampoo so i thought i'm gonna stop it so i stop it i did for about three months i did miss them but i didn't miss the numerous dry shampoos i received so i had an email last week to say that i could have uh, a 50 percent off a glossy box so i thought for just over six pounds which includes delivery you know i'll i'll have another glossy box so this arrived on Tuesday. I have had a look what's inside, but I'm going to review it now today for you. Well, not so much review, but just let you know what's inside the box I received. Okay, so it's just the usual glossy box. It's the standard pink glossy box. I put my camera a bit high today and I'm struggling. So I'll just open it up and inside you have the regular little bits of cardboard, pink tissue paper with black ribbon, always looks quite classy this one, much classier than other boxes I've had in the past. I will unstick that and there's the content. So without further ado, let's have a look what's inside. I'm going to pop my glasses on just to read the cardboard. Okay, so this is the information sheet that comes with it just to let you know what is actually in your box so the first thing that's in the box i'm going to read it in order on the sheet is a tapered blending brush or a large tapered blending brush by ruby okay um i've got plenty of blending brushes but you can never have enough brushes so let's have a look what this one is like. I, I do use all of my blending brushes. I use quite a lot of eye, different eye brushes depending on eyeshadows that I use. So that's the brush head and it is quite tapered, very soft, very soft. So yeah, it'll go in my collection. Um, I love having brushes in boxes because they can be quite expensive. Now this is worth eight pounds and obviously it is a full size item it's not a very expensive brush but nevertheless it's a brush so i'll give that one a go the next thing that's in the box is a three skin gold brightening facial treatment mask i love masks i'm not um a great lover of sheet masks i must admit now, this is worth £20, according to this, for one mask, okay? It says it's the ultimate pre-party pick-me-up with instant results. That could be good. I tell you what, I wouldn't pay £20 for a mask, but if it gave immediate instant results noticeable, maybe I would, okay? So, we're we'll definitely want to try, and once try soon with all the... Christmas parties that we've got coming up. So the next thing in my box is a Wilkinson Sword Quattro razors. There's four in there. Okay, they're worth five pound sixty nine. Okay, now it says raspberry rain. So are they scented ra razor blades? We wonder. Let's have a look. See if I can open it and. Let's see if they smell of raspberry rain. Um, I don't tend to use disposable ra razor blades myself. I tend to use ones that you buy all the, the different heads for. Now I've broken your nail. <laughs> I hate these plastic cartons. Um, so I'm going to get scissors actually. So um, yeah, I will try them out regardless of whether they taste of... Uh, taste smell of raspberry or not I will try them out so I never have enough razor blades so uh, it'll go in the shower I will try it so 
the last three bags. Hmm. It does have a slight smell, not a lot, I would say. I've just broken my nail on that. Um, it's got four blades, so I'll give these a whirl. Quattro, Wilkinson Quattro, definitely give those a whirl. Um, I do like my, my regular shaver razors, so we shall see. Okay, the next thing in the box is a De Breuer or De Breuer from Paris and that is a eye, a jumbo eye pencil in the shade of Bubble. Now it looks sort of a goldy khaki colour. Let's have a look, let's swatch it. Very soft. Um, hmm. I would say that's a shimmery, shimmery, shimmery beigey colour. Quite nice actually, my sort of colour that I would use on the eye. That's full size and that's a recommended retail price of £15. So that's quite a, quite a nice um, item to have in your glossy box. And the last thing that's in the box is are some false lashes. Now these are looks so natural lashes by a, uh, a company called Kiss. Apparently the revolutionary tapered end technology and they feel like your own lashes. And they also have the glue included. So um, I have tried a few false lashes in the past. I can't get on with them. Um, one, it takes me ages to put them on. And two, when they are on, they just feel too heavy on my eyes. So yeah, I'm going to give these a go. I'm actually going out tomorrow evening. I've got family down this weekend visiting. So I might give these a go tomorrow night and I, I'll let you know on those. Um, I usually have to cut my la my lashes because my eyes are quite small, but um, I think I will give these a go. And that's it for the gloss box. No, it wasn't actually. There was a little Ferrara Rocher, not Ferrara Rocher, the white one, the white chocolate and coconutty one in there. Unfortunately, I opened this up at work, and one of one of my work colleagues there uh, sort of fancied it, so I gave it to him. So that's Glossy Box. I'm actually quite impressed with that Glossy Box. They're all things that I will use. So, yeah, I'm going to keep it going for the time being. Um, I'll let you know, I think, every month what I do have in there and what I'm thinking about it and whether I will carry on with the Glossy Box. So I hope you enjoyed that video. And if there is anything in there that you'd like to know anything more about in detail, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you. Bye for now.